Hello there, Pisces. Welcome to your weekly reading.、Um, when I was shuffling out the spread for you,、um, the message that I saw was:、um, I see an application, like a you know, an application that you submit to some type of a、um, official agency, like a governmental agency or whatever, and、um, it says feelings on top of it, and then somebody places a stamp, and it says pending. So it's not that the application is rejected or approved. It says pending, and it says feelings pending. So there's definitely、um, a situation here where your your you have invested a lot of your emotions in this, and it, it fluctuated. You know, one day is really good, the next it can be really bad. So I see this oscillating、um, situation between you know being. It's almost like. The emotional roller coaster is it's.、Um, there are intense highs and very low lows. Okay, so from one day to the next, your feeling about the situation changes. Your feelings about whether or not you should stay in it changes. And so, for this week, I I feel almost like it's um it's winging a little bit on the low end. So. The first thing that I'm feeling here is、um, there's a lot of pressure on you. There's a lot of things that you you feel like you're you're doing on your own, and the other people around you are not pulling their weight. Okay, so this can be at work where you feel this sense of disconnect with the people that you're working with. So I feel for some of you, it's you know towards the end of the year. There's a lot of things that you need to wrap up. There are, there are a lot of responsibilities that you need to take care of before you head off for the holidays.、Um, so I, I see that, and I, I feel almost like you're working really hard. You're running around, you know, getting everything done,、um, and other people are really not. They're they're not. Working as hard as you are, they're not diligent. It's almost like there, there's a, a level of ambivalence about getting things done. You know, doing things in in a timely manner, and working with a sense of urgency. So you're knocking down your cases one by one, and you're looking around, and other people are not really doing their work. You could also be in a group work situation, and other people are not really pulling their weight. So it can be a very frustrating situation to be in. It can also be very frustrating if we're comparing our workload with other people. If we're comparing our work ethics with what other people are doing.、Um, so my advice for you for this week is: it doesn't really matter what you're seeing around you.、Uh, stay true to your course. And I know that you know for a lot of Piscean people in general. What people think, what people say, matters a lot to you. You're the sign of the two fish. You're very, very other oriented.、Um, being a part of a group, being a part of a team, being a, a part of a family, being a part of、um, having that sense of camaraderie, having that that sense of unity, camaraderie. I, I feel like it means a lot to you. But if you're constantly measuring your progress. Based on what other people are doing, if you're constantly looking around to assess your environment and to see what other people are, are doing,、um, it just doesn't seem to serve any purpose. And if anything, it can be a little bit demoralizing for this week. So stay true to your course, focus on what you're doing, and don't worry about what other people are doing. It's going to help the situation a lot. Okay.、Um, I understand that it's going to be hard to do so, but I feel like you should try your best to do so. What I'm also feeling as well is there's a lot of gossip here、uh, coming up in this spread.、Um, gossip about you know who's getting laid off, why so and so left in such such an abrupt manner, and the point is they've already left. Whatever people are talking about, it's all like. He said, she said, and it's all things that don't really matter because the other person is no longer in the picture. So I feel like there might have been a coworker that left. There might have been somebody that left. There might have also been some type of rumor or scandal surrounding workplace romances, 
And I don't know how long it has been circulating around, but I, I definitely see remnants of that still in the gossip, in the rumors, in the discussions、uh, between co workers. And at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. And engaging in you know, this, this sort of low vibrational energy, even if you're just like,、uh, even if you don't care, e- even if you're just like, hey, what are you guys talking about? It just, that type of low vibrational energy, it's not good for you to be in it and it's not good for you to pull, to get sucked in or to kind of、um, get pulled or drawn into it, okay? And I feel like a lot of it has to do with the people in general that are around you. So don't get pulled into the, their vibration, don't get pulled into the gossip. Because if they're gossiping about other people, one day they will gossip about you. So I want you to be very cognizant of who you are choosing to talk to, to associate with, to confide in, and to even open up to. Okay? Be very, very careful about this energy.、Um, if you see. Three, four people huddled together in hush hush conversation, just walk the other way. I know that curiosity, you know, often gets the best of us, but it's not worth it, okay? And don't get dragged into it.、Um, I, I feel like the more you can avoid it for this week, the better it's going to be for you because I feel like people might get called out for, for not doing their work and constantly gossiping. So even if you've never associated with them in the past, And this week you choose to do so, you might get blamed for it as well. You might get,、um, just by association, you, you might get reprimanded or you might you know, get like、um, the manager or the supervisor might also put you, like blacklist you just because of your association. So be very, very careful who you let into your life, who you are choosing to spend your free time with, and what kind of conversations. You're engaging in. So I, I feel like that is something that is really crucial in the work environment. Oh, once again, I'm seeing this energy about you feeling like you have to take care of everything, you have to do everything. And I feel like in a partnership situation as well, there's somebody who's not taking initiative. They're, they're kind of dragging their feet, and you're asking them very simple questions Where do you want to go? What do you want to do?、Uh, what、uh, do you want to? What do you want to cook for dinner? What do you want to eat for dinner? What restaurant do you want to go to? And they're just like, I don't know, it's up to you. And so, between the two of you, there's this constant back and forth where decisions are not being made. And I almost feel like I feel like the,、uh, the, the Pisces that I'm reading for, some of you, have a lot of fire in you. You know, like、um, you, you, you are a little bit more. Um, you're less passive, you're more aggressive, and you get things done, and you like to have things done in a specific manner, and you like to have clear, succinct communication. And I feel like the person that you're dealing with, they're dragging their feet. I also see as well,、um, there might be some financial fluctuations, especially if you are in a relationship. And I feel like the fluctuation has a lot to do with one person being like the, the, the sole breadwinner in the family, and then the other person might be a stay at home mom, stay at home dad, or a homemaker in general. And so there's a little bit of a dip when it comes to finances. And you're trying your best to you know, get the pay increase, to work really hard, and to get ahead in your work situation so you can get like a better,、um, to, to alleviate the financial burden. And you know, to get yourself more, more,、um, to build up your financial foundation. But it, it just feels like if you're in a relationship with another person, they're, they, they're encountering blockages, they're encounter, encountering、um, lack of opportunities.、Um, They're also encountering confidence issues that's disallowing them from going out to look for a job. Okay? So I'm seeing that with some of you with a partner where they might have, you know, they, they might have、um, 
I, I'm seeing communication issues, and I don't know why that is. Maybe it's a linguistic barrier. So maybe they, you know, if, if for example, wherever they're living, if it's an English-speaking country, English might not be their、uh, native language, and so they feel a little bit out of their element, or they feel a little bit、um, self-conscious about the way they speak, their accents, or something. And so I feel like they might not have landed many jobs because of it. And it it's it it's like hurting their self esteem, and then they're just like, no, I don't want to go through another job interview. I don't want to get turned down. I don't want to get rejected. And so they're kind of hitting a low point. And then I also feel like for others, there might just be kind of like a、um, just blockages overall.、Um, the jobs that they want. Might be further away, and they might not have like a stable mode of transportation. Or I'm feeling as well the jobs that they want. They feel like they might not have the proper degree or certificate. So I feel there's a lot of pressure on you to.、Um, it's almost like you you're very much alone in everything that you're doing to uphold the relationship. Uphold your work situation,、um, and you don't blame your partner, but a big part of you feels like they need to do more. It takes a lot for a Pisces to get to this point, but I feel like you're shouldering the responsibilities, and I feel like the the partner. I just feel like your partner—they're—they're they're wallowing in self-pity, and they're not seeing how this situation affects you. So they're too wrapped up in their own feelings, in their own emotions, in their own struggle, that they're not seeing everything that you're doing. And if they're not really seeing what you're doing, then I—I I feel like. They're not motivated to, you know, step up, and so I definitely feel there needs to be a discussion here. And I, I feel like if you tell them, you know, hey, I'm really struggling. If you really spell it out for them, that will be the the kind of like the the drive, the impetus, and and the、um, The one thing that will really motivate them, okay? Because they don't want to see you struggle, but they're so wrapped up in themselves. And you're probably wondering, you know, because you guys are really intuitive and you're very, very considerate. You know when someone's in a bad mood, and you intuitively know. So you try to cheer them up. You know when somebody is、um, like having a bad day. You know how somebody feels. And so that's why you're very understanding with your relationship partner. They, on the other hand, they operate in a more practical way. So they might do things, you know, practical things to help out best they can, like clean the the、uh, wash the dishes, do the laundry, clean the house, cook. But I feel like in terms of their financial contribution, it's very minuscule, and there's nothing wrong with that. But what I feel is there is some financial imbalances. No, there are some financial imbalances in the relationship right now, in the give and take, and I feel like they're so wrapped up in their own situation that they're not really seeing your struggles. And if you tell them, spell it out for them, so that they snap out of it and they help you, because if we leave things unsaid, I feel like it can lead to. A lot of resentment further down the line, especially for you guys. And then I also feel like their the the partner is like、uh, getting sinking deeper and deeper and deeper into this this space of self pity, which is not helpful for the relationship. Okay, so try to fix the situation. It is within your control, and they're going to be very、uh, receptive to it. But you need to let them know, hey, I need your help. I need you to just you know snap out of it and help me. They have the capability to bounce back very quickly. They're strong, okay. They're just going through a, a little eagle dip right now, but they're strong and they will 
you know, they they will snap out of it and they will help you. I'm seeing two people here, um, an earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. And this person, their life has been kind of stuck and stagnant and things are not progressing for quite some time. And um, I almost feel like across the board, I just feel like if you love somebody, right, you have to respect them. So I feel like, you know, well, for, let, let's just say for a lot of the other signs, especially um, fire signs, well, fire signs, air signs, and earth signs in general, they, they have to respect somebody first before they can fall in love with that person. Okay, so... That, that's what I'm feeling. And I feel like for you, you love them first. And then you respect them. And I feel like even if the respect is not there, you still love them. I feel like somebody is kind of like falling off their pedestal in your eyes. And so they're saying like, you know, the message, feelings pending. How do you feel about this person? How do you feel about this person now? If they have fallen from their pedestal and if you're looking at a situation very realistically, how do you feel about this person? So I feel like there's some major, major turn of events concerning your feelings about a situation. Is it still tolerable? Your feelings about a person, is their behavior acceptable? What needs to change and is it within the realm of possibility to change the situation or is it a lost cause if it is a lost cause do you check out now do you leave now or do you leave you know or do you continue to waste time in it okay so I definitely see some situations um, that might have been swept under the rug and now they're coming back to light for you to examine during this time um, so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, I feel like that might be a partner that is, you know, their life is very stuck. They're wallowing in self-pity and um, their, their foundation is looking a little bit decrepit. Like they, they, they don't really have anything to show for themselves. And I feel like they're sinking into uh, further self-doubt. And, you know, of course you love this person. But I feel like you kind of need to look at the situation realistically. Are they also corroding your foundation? If the answer is yes, you have to check yourself out of this relationship. And then I have an air sign. This is an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. This is somebody that I, I feel like you're not really sure how they feel about you. You're a little bit confused about this person. One day they're very affectionate, the next day they're very aloof. So there is like definitely an emotional roller coaster with this person. I feel like. Let me see here. I feel like they've recently gotten back on their feet. So they might have left a relationship. They might have been in like a long standing relationship and they left that. So they might, you know, be very iffy about starting a new relationship. They might be testing the waters. They might, um, they might not feel like you are the right person for them as well. So I feel like they're still trying to gauge whether or not they want to invest in you that's what i'm feeling so if they're blowing hot and cold i feel like it's because they're confused about whether or not not so much confused but i feel more like they're still trying to get to know you and so they're you know i like they they have the the checklist 
、um, emotionally stable, financially stable, honest, loyal, blah blah blah. Whatever their their requirement is for a love relationship partner, I feel like your their every day that they spend with you or every date that you go on with them, every conversation, they're keeping tabs. Okay, they're just like okay. Did this text conversation show that the Piscean person is honest? Has their past track record with their、um, past relationships has it shown me that the Piscean person is loyal? So I feel like they're keeping tabs and they're they're checking off the list. So their feelings for you is still pending. They haven't made up their mind just yet. And so, if you are interested in this person. I feel like you have to be very consistent, okay? Because like, when they go through that checklist, if it's somebody who's very methodical to the point where they have a checklist, they want somebody who's very reliable and very consistent. So I feel like you have to show consistency.、Um, Honestly, I feel like there's a third party situation going on, and you know this might not resonate with everybody. Some of you are even single. Others of you, you're in a committed relationship, and I definitely see a third party situation. There might it, it might not be you know like sleeping with a third party or like、uh, stepping out of the relationship. It could just be text messages, flirtation,、um, talking to an ex, just like. Talking to an ex, like you know, very what you feel to be very harmless, but your partner doesn't feel that way. So the the thing that I really want you to look at is、um, if the shoe were on the other foot. So if your partner is talking to his or her ex, how would that make you feel? So I feel like there's something coming to light. There might have been some arguments recently about this, and I feel like it's surfacing again. So it could be you talking to an ex, or talking to somebody, flirting with somebody outside the relationship, or it could be the partner talking to an ex or flirting with somebody outside of the relationship. But there is a huge presence of a third party that is、um, creating、um, conflict. Mistrust in your existing relationship. I have here the lovers, and with this card alone, it would have been really, really good. However, I also have here the Three of Cups in the reverse, three party, and when it's in the reverse, it's third party. And I also have as well the Three of Swords. It's in the reverse position, so I feel like it might be an X. Three of Swords is a person that left our lives, and you know there was some separation, and it it it, it took you some time to heal from it, to get over it, and it's resurfacing. So I feel like it's an X. I also feel like it's somebody outside of the relationship. So there's heavy interference here.、Um, Whatever situation you're in, if you're dealing with someone whose financial foundation is wobbly, if you're dealing with someone who's not sure about their feelings for you, or if you're in that third-party situation, you have to really sort out your feelings. You know, we can't find the ideal partner in in just one person. There are people with traits and qualities that we wish we can extract. And we wish we can extract all of those good traits and quality, and and roll them up and create them into you know the the ideal man or the ideal woman. And I feel almost like you guys are very very heavily just very romantic. And I feel like you believe in that you know perfection that that ideal person. And so you might fall in love with you know multiple people because they embody that. They they have certain traits about them that you wish your partner might have, and so you're constantly looking for that ideal type. And I feel like that might be why some people fall in love with multiple people. But what I'm feeling here is 
It's almost like the, a form of escapism. Rather than fixing what we have, we're kind of being drawn to others that have the qualities that we wish our partner has. The drive, the ambition, for example. Um, so there are a few things here that we kind of need to fix, and you will be able to fully. I, I feel like the problems are easy to fix. Because you just have to really listen to what your heart desires and what it wants. Your feelings, you have to kind of sort them out. You have to decide how you feel. Okay. Um, I hope the reading is helpful for you guys. I don't like to, you know, relay this energy, but I feel that it is possibly helpful for somebody out there.、Um, best of luck, Pisces, and、uh, I'll talk to you guys next week. Hopefully, this energy will clear. And、um, to just take care of yourself, okay? Don't overwork yourself, and you know, try to sort some things out.、Uh, I'll talk to you guys soon.